Hey everyone, uh, so it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. I am 38 weeks pregnant now, almost 39, and I am just like hugely uncomfortably pregnant and ready to have a baby. And I've been nesting and getting the house ready and not doing a whole lot with uh, filming videos or anything like that. But my goal is to get a couple more videos up before uh, before the baby comes and to talk a little bit about um, weekly makeup baskets and also about uh, some project pan things that I'm working on so my goal today and tomorrow is to get a little bit of that done it's actually a little after 10 o'clock at night here but I am kind of I guess I kind of have my days and nights flipped now so um some of these videos may be like in the middle of the night or in the really wee hours of the morning, but I wanted to get some videos up and talk about some things I've been working on. I have been wearing makeup, which is a little funny because literally I have like this nasty Walmart dress and my husband's t-shirts and sweatpants that fit at this point. I can't even wear shoes because my feet are so swollen. It's pretty crazy. I want to talk a little bit about my weekly makeup basket. So this was a weekly makeup basket and then it kind of, um, as the baby is nearing, is becoming a monthly makeup basket. And I'm kind of experimenting with what works for me as far as length of time that I want to be using certain products weekly isn't working super well because I feel like I don't really get a lot of use out of certain products and when I put um, for example project pan items in there I don't feel like I'm really making a dent in any of the pro the products I'm working on so I think I'm going to switch to bi-weekly or monthly baskets and kind of see how that goes but in the meantime I figured putting together a basket for March to kind of grab and go between baby stuff and whatnot uh, is, is probably the best solution. So I have quite a bit in here. Um, first, so first I have two foundations and I actually have a BB cream as well. Uh, all of these are in my project pans and the first one I'm working on is this Maybelline um, Superstay Foundation. This is one of their newer formulas and I just really love it. I had a really bad experience with their Fit Me formula, their Fit Me Matte formula, and so uh, this was kind of refreshing because it's uh, such a great foundation. It's such a great full coverage foundation and it doesn't leave me feeling cakey, which is a problem I have with a lot of full coverage foundations. They kind of dry me out and get patchy, so I'm excited about using this one up, and as you can see, I'm making quite a bit of um, progress on it there. But I also want to use up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the stuff everybody talks about on YouTube that smells like paint. And it does smell really bad, but it airs out, and it's a really good like me light to medium coverage foundation. And then when I'm feeling... I don't know, lazy, or I want to do like the the no makeup makeup look. Sometimes I'll wear this BB cream from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB cream. I haven't used this enough to figure out really what I think of it yet, so I threw it in for this month because I figured there's going to be a lot of days where I just don't want to put on a full face of makeup or full coverage makeup. And that's kind of another point of these baskets sorry um my pet rats are running around and batman keeps coming up and like nibbling my toes and checking out what's going on so if you see me like chasing rats away that's that's why the point of this basket in part is to get more use out of products that i haven't used consistently over time so that i can figure out if i really like them or not so um, that's one of my goals with this and then for concealers, I'm trying to find the other one. There we go. Uh, for concealers, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Ivory, Light Ivory. Uh, this is one I really like, um, but it's not like my most favorite concealer in the world. It's just like a good day-to-day -day concealer. It doesn't blow my mind, but I like it. The one that I am um, 
experimenting with, and I've used this maybe four or five times. Um, this is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And so far I really like this. I just haven't gotten to use it enough to be, find out if I'm in love with it. Then for bronzers, I have the Ulta Baked Bronzer. It's a good size bronzer and it also has just like a hint of shimmer, but it's not overwhelmingly shimmery. I really like it. Uh, and the other one is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This originally came in a light and a dark color and they were very, very subtle. This is one of their new colors. This is the Sunkiss Bronzer. And uh, it's just a hint, just like a smidge darker. And I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know how well you can tell in this lighting. My lighting is kind of off tonight. Um, but I didn't want to hook up all my huge lights and stuff today um, since it is kind of late. I like this. It smells amazing. And um, it's another one that I want to get some more use out of. And it's good for like a no makeup, makeup kind of look. For blush, I am trying to pan both this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. This is a mini that I got from... Um, from Ipsy and I think you may have seen this in my 10 before July project pan this thing is a beast to try and pan because this is like really packed in there it's actually really really difficult to even get like on my face hold on one second my rat is doing things this is really difficult to pan because it is their Amazon uh, Amazonian clay formula is so tightly packed that like to even apply it, I have to get in there with a brush and like dig at it a little bit. And I really love the color, but it is kind of difficult to make progress on as like a, a panning item. Um, however, I love this blush and part of the reason I want to use it up is that I can then justify buying a full size one in another color and like trying another shade or something um, because I do really like it. And then this one is a little bit older. This is my Pacifica um, Blushes Blush in Wild Rose. This also came in Ipsy. It's a little bit darker and more wintry, and we are heading out of winter. So I want to use up as much as I can. It's also a little older in my collection. It's one of my favorites because of this little, I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's a unicorn, which is kind of wearing off now because it's, um, been carried in my purse and such, but I think it's really adorable. Like I said, the color's a little darker, so, um, you know, as we head into spring, it's probably not ideal, but I do want to use up as much as I can, so that's one of my goals for that. Two other items that I am trying to pan are, uh, two highlighters. And I will have like more extensive project pan videos. I just want to talk about kind of what I'm using. Um, so I'm sorry if I don't mention like which projects these are in and such, but um, this is one of, this is the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. I bought this half priced over Black Friday and was so, so, so excited to get such a great deal on this. And then it turned out it was like super, super glittery. And I don't, I guess, like... Um, I guess I just don't like particularly like strange colored highlighters or like colorful highlighters. So like there's purple and a couple of blues and like a green tinted one. And it's just a little too festival for me, like on a day to day basis. However, I like this pink heart color right here. And, um, it's just kind of a subtle pink. It does have a lot of glitter in it. But I am trying to pan that, so I want to use it a little bit and see if I can make it work and maybe get past the glitter thing. I don't know. This may end up being a declutter eventually because it's really just not something that I'm as in love with as I thought I would be. But it's worth trying out and giving it a little love this month and seeing what I think. Um, I am, however, absolutely in love with this Mary Luminizer highlighter from The Balm. This was another, I think, Ipsy um, sample. And this is just a little mini. This is a much more subtle highlight. And 
uh, it's like kind of a, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, I guess. I guess, more of like an opal highlight. It's very, very natural looking, and I actually like this so much that I just bought the full size from the balm. I haven't opened this yet because I want to use this up, but it is definitely a highlighter that I want in my collection in the future. Primer. I forgot my, both my primers, actually. Um, so one that I'm trying to use up is this Baby Skin from Maybelline. I really like this. I know a lot of people don't like the feel of a more silicone primer, but my pores are huge and this really does erase them. This was a gift from a friend and it is a little bit older, so I do want to use it up, but I will probably purchase this again. And my skin has been pretty wacky since I got pregnant. Like I broke out a lot and then over the winter I got really, really dry and would get like flaky patches on my face. So I bought this hydrating primer from Laura Geller, this spackle stuff. And I absolutely love it. I have been using this almost every day, especially under full coverage foundation since that tends to dry me a little bit more. And I love this and I just want to continue getting more use out of it while the weather's kind of drying and chilly. So it's also in the monthly Next, makeup. Basket. I have my go-to eye primer. This will probably be in like every makeup basket ever. Uh, this is the Alter uh, Alter. The Alta Eye Primer in Nude Matte. I have very oily eyelids, which is right weird because like right around my brow bone I get dry sometimes. Um, but on the lid itself, this is one of the best primers that I've found, and it's not super expensive. You need a very minimal amount, so this tube has lasted me like forever, and um, it's just a great eye primer, and I throw it in every basket because I use it anytime I wear eyeshadow. For eyeshadows I went with two palettes um, this year for pan that palette I am trying to pan the NYX ultimate uh, warm neutrals palette this palette is gorgeous I have totally fallen in love with like the red colors that are in right now reds browns uh, those sorts of shades um, and I really want to give this palette some love this year so this is going to be in a lot of my baskets but I also have been neglecting this Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette that I bought uh, at Ulta and um, I just haven't pulled it out and used it in a while and I actually really love this palette. The formula is amazing and the colors are really pretty. There's a lot of like rosy colors, some peaches. It also comes with highlighters and uh, bronzers which I probably won't be using this month, but I definitely want to give the shadows some love and play with those a little bit more than I have. So I'm going to be using that this month. And then I wanted to pick a few single shadows that I thought would coordinate with the, the Warm Neutrals palette. So I have some of my Super Shock shadows from ColourPop. I just discovered these a couple months ago and I'm totally in love with the formula for these two. So I have those in Snake Bite, Kathleen Lights, and Mittens, hi Batman, <laughs> um, which are just kind of, uh, Mittens is a matte, a matte brown, um, and then these two are more metallic or shimmer shades. Snake Bite is kind of a golden color, and then Kathleen Lights is somewhere between a bronze and a gold. I don't even really know how to describe it. I don't even know if I swatch it for you if that's going to be helpful, but it's a, yeah, it's like somewhere between like a, a copper and a gold, I guess. I don't know why I swatch things and put them in weird places on my hands and then you can't see them. Um, come on. Well, maybe you can see that a little bit, but yeah, it's very pretty. They're very, very shimmery, um, but I'm enjoying using them. And I just want to test them out a little bit more and coordinate them with some of these other palettes. The other eyeshadow I am trying to make a dent in, and it's just not happening, is this one that I literally bought almost three years ago, and it has to like be used up or it's going to go bad. It is this Milani um, Bella um, Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Chiffon. It's just like a really, really, really white 
shimmer shadow. Um, it is really packed in here. I have been using this a lot. I found that it, it does not blend well enough to use as a highlighter. So I was going to use this as a highlighter on the rest of my face and it's not working. Um, and it makes me feel like it's going to take forever to use this up. But I have been using it on my brow bone a lot and I have literally, like it looks like there's a dent in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it came that way. I did not make that and I have not had any progress with this at all. So we'll see what happens with it, but at least I can get a little bit of use out of it before I declutter or throw away or whatever I have to do with it. For eye pencils and eyeliners, I am trying to use up this Starlux Pro, um, which is just a black, um, oops, that's the stamp end that has a star on it, which is pretty unique. Um, but it is just like a felt tip black liner. It's starting to dry out a lot, a little bit, and it's also not super, super black. So I'm trying to use it up and just get it out, um, get a little use out of it and then get rid of it. But I also wanted to have a brown liner because I think it looks really nice with those um, warm neutral shades. So this is just the Ulta gel liner in brown. It has a little shimmer to it, but it's not super noticeable on, like, on your eyes when you use it. I love, love, love the formula of these. I have this in black as well, and we'll definitely repurchase this when it's used up. And then I have um, this Ulta pencil liner in blackout, which is, this came in like a little, it's like a dual tip, there's plum on the other side, but this came in like a gift set around Christmas. It was like a bonus if you spent so much, and I hate this formula. Um, I actually put this in my Seven Deadly Sins project pan because um, it was my choice for Wrath because it enrages me to use it. Um, and I want to try and use it up because I don't want to just throw it out. But it's one of those that kind of like drags on your eyes and it's uncomfortable to use and it's just like a, you know, like a traditional kind of black coal type liner. It is not a pleasure to use and I want to get rid of it but it's small like you can see there's not a lot to it so I feel like I can use it up and not let it go to waste either so I will Other do my thing. best with that in here of course is mascara um, this is my most favorite mascara right now which is the most your big um, mascara from Lancome this is the travel size this is actually the second one I have bought um, it's just a really great mascara. It looks good. It doesn't dry out really quickly and it's very black and I just really enjoy using it. It's one that I will probably continue to purchase and I'm just trying to use it up so that, um, I don't know, so that it doesn't go bad. I, I don't tend to use mascaras completely before they go bad and for some reason around New Year's I bought like a whole bunch of them and opened them all at once which was a really bad idea because now I have all of these mascaras I have to try and use up before they go bad. But um, this is one of my favorites and then I'm also trying to use up this Lash Domination from uh, Bare Minerals which was a gift with purchase I think that my mom got and she gave it to me because she was not into this. Um, there is nothing wrong with this mascara. It's just not a formula that I love. Um, it makes, I think I mentioned this in another video a while ago, it makes my lashes separate in a way that's very doll-like. And if you're going for that look, I definitely recommend this, but it's not, not really my favorite look. So I'm just going to use it up the best I can and then get rid so of it. So finally, I chose a couple of lip products. I have this MAC Prep and Prime lip primer. This got great reviews. I don't know that I'm like 100% in love with it or that it does anything to make my lipstick last longer or be more hydrating or anything like that. But again, it's a product that I haven't used enough to be sure that I don't like it. So I want to continue using that. And then I picked just a few lip products to use. Um, I want to use up this Skin Iceland lip balm. Um, as well as 
this Milani lipstick, which is tied with another one that I bought at the same time for like the oldest lipstick I own. This is almost three years old and I'm like, nope, it has to go. I actually just, if you can see, it's, it's a little strange looking, like there's some lines and stuff on it. That's because I just sanitized it because uh, I was like, this hasn't been sanitized in a while and it needed taken care of. But there's literally like almost a full tube of lipstick here. Um, it's just, kind of, I'm wearing it now, it's just kind of like a, a rosy nude color. I do like it a lot, and I would definitely repurchase more Milani lipsticks. This just kind of got shoved in a drawer somewhere, and I forgot about it, so I'm trying to use it up. There's also this NYX Butter Lipstick. I don't even think they make these anymore, but this is also older. It's like more of a pinky color. I really like this one. The formula is not super lasting, but um, I do want to get some use out of it because it is a little bit older. Um, this Seraphine Botanicals one in Raisin and Cream is just what it sounds like. It's like a raisin color, but um, this came in a Lip Monthly or possibly an Ipsy. I don't remember. But um, I really, really like this. This is super moisturizing, which I find with a lot of lip crayons, and I really tend to like these kind of formulas. But I wanted to include that um, because it's nice to wear on days when my lips are feeling a little more dry. And finally, I have this Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick from Soap and Glory. I actually just bought two of these to try them out. This one is in Pommy Girl, which is more of like a pinky red color. I absolutely love these. Um, they are very lasting. They don't transfer a whole lot and I've only used them a couple times but I definitely want to try them out some more and see what I think because um, if they are as good as the few experiences I've had wearing them um, and I continue to like them I will definitely buy these in more colors. Um, I just I think they're a great lipstick and I think they're not super expensive so these ones are definitely one I want to try some more. So yeah, that's uh, my makeup basket for the rest of the month and some project products that I am working on and, and trying to experiment with a little bit more and get some more use out of. Um, I would love to see your makeup baskets. I don't know why we like, like we as makeup enthusiasts um, like looking at other people's makeup for the week or the month or whatever so much but I really enjoy seeing other people's makeup baskets so if you have one please link it below please also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this or empties project pans um, hauls I'm trying not to do as many hauls I am on a no spend right now until May because I kind of like did some prenatal stress spending over the winter so um, yeah, if you want to see more of any of those kinds of videos, makeup tutorials, etc., please subscribe and I will be back with more videos soon.